that, boys and girls, we have just finished looking at our new um, scientific phenomenon for our new science unit. And I do more clues about what we're going to be talking about this week and the next couple of weeks in science. So this book is called Just a Little Bit. And it's by Ann Tompert, and it's illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Just a little bit. You notice a seesaw here and a swing over here. Elephant and mouse were in the park playing on the slides and swings. Elephant said, let's try the seesaw. Elephant sat down on the side of the seesaw. Mouse climbed to the very edge of the upside, but nothing happened. Push down, urged Elephant. Push down. Mouse pushed down against the board as hard as he could. Still, nothing happened. Along came Giraffe. Let me help you, she said. Giraffe walked up the board and sat next to Mouse. Nothing happened. Elephant's end of the seesaw stayed on the ground. Mouse's end stayed in the air. You need just a little bit more help, said Zebra, trotting up the seesaw. And nothing happened. Elephant still stayed on the ground. Mouse still stayed in the air. You need just a little bit more help, said Lion, and he pranced up the seesaw. And nothing happened. Look, we have mouse, giraffe, zebra, lion, and elephant. Everyone together now, urged elephant, push down. Mouse, giraffe, zebra, and lion pushed down with all their might. And nothing happened. By then a crowd had gathered to wash. I need just a little more help, Elephant called out to them. Let me see what I can do, said Bear. As he lumbered up the seesaw toward them, Mouse, Giraffe, Zebra, and Lion grunted and groaned and grimaced as they pressed down on the board with every last bit of their strength. And nothing happened. Oh, no, moaned the crowd. Who will help me just a little bit more? Elephant called out to the crowd. How about me? cried Mock Crocodile. And me, cried Mongoose. I'll join the party, said Monkey from the banana tree overhead. She swung down onto Ostrich's back. So now we have Crocodile and Mongoose and Monkey and Ostrich, and they're all going to try to help. Crocodile, Mongoose, Monkey, and Ostrich climbed onto the seesaw one at a time. And nothing happened. Oh, no, moaned the crowd again. Look, poor Mouse is now sliding off on Giraffe's tail. He'll never get off the ground, said someone in the crowd. Push down, push down, urged Elephant. Look at all the crowd. We've got a turtle and a rabbit, a snake, a pig, another pig. Mouse, giraffe, zebra, lion, bear, crocodile, mongoose, monkey, and ostrich grunted and groaned and grimaced as they all pushed down on the board as hard as they could. And nothing happened. They'll never do it, said someone in the crowd. Let's go. The onlookers had started to move away when a small brown beetle flew down from the sky. A beetle, an insect like we talked about last week. For a moment, it hovered above the seesaw. Then it flew straight to Mouse and landed on his head. Down, down, down to the ground went Mouse and the rest of the animals. Every little bit helps, Elephant trumpeted from the top of the seesaw. Hooray, 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 cheered the crowd. With Elephant on one side and Mouse, Giraffe, Zebra, Lion, Bear, Crocodile, Mongoose, Monkey, Ostrich, and the Small Brown Beetle on the other, they all went up and down, up and down while the crowd cheered and clapped. so boys and girls as we finish this story today i want you to think about why i chose this book to read to you and 
what it might have in common with that phenomenon we just looked at. I can't wait to hear your ideas tomorrow and to dig deeper into our new unit. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.